breaking news. The Queen laughed when she opened Meghan's gift. The world stood by and watched when Prince Harry of the British royal family recently announced that he would be marrying for American actress Meghan Markle. Americans were even happier when they found out his fiancée was one of their own. While new articles about their engagement break every day one of the most recent ones will leave you in hysterics. Markle spent her first Christmas in England with Prince Harry and his family which is uncommon as unwed relatives are not allowed to bring significant others to Christmas festivities until they are married. But since Markle had no family in England it appears they made an exception. Turns out, that when she first met the Queen she gave her a funny gift which is a tradition within the royal family, not to give real gifts, since they have so much, but instead to give gag gifts that are funny. As well, they exchange gifts on Christmas Eve to honor their German heritage. Markle apparently gave the Queen a singing toy hamster with a little rope, which the Queen found hilarious. Allegedly, the Queen's corgis tried to take hold of the toy and took off with it and the Queen responded by laughing and telling them they can keep the dog's company. To poke fun at the Duke of Cambridge's thinning hair Markle gifted him a tam o hat with a fake ginger hair attached. Reports indicate all of her gag gifts were received very well by the family especially since they shun serious and expensive gifts. They take it so seriously that once Prince Harry gifted his grandmother a show cap printed with the phrase Ain't Life a Bee. Prince Charles apparently has a white leather toilet seat that was gifted to him by his sister Princess Anne but he actually enjoys using it and now takes it with him wherever he goes whenever he travels. But the gifts are not always comical. The Duchess of Cambridge gave a sweet and heartfelt gift during her first Christmas with the family by gifting the Queen a jar of her grandmother's homemade chutney. The Daily Mail reported. Apart from a slight wobble when she curtsied to the Queen after the service, Meghan's first public appearance with members of the royal family appeared to go without a hitch. Prince Harry told the Today program that her first royal family Christmas had been a resounding success. When the fifth in line to the throne was quizzed by presenter Sarah Montague at the end of guest editing the three-hour show he replied, it was fantastic, she really enjoyed it. Speaking about his fiancée, he said, the family loved having her there. There's always that family part of Christmas, where, there's always that work element there as well, and I think together we had an amazing time. We had great fun staying with my brother and sister-in-law and running around with the kids. Christmas was fantastic. The couple are just months away from their big and will get married at Windsor Castle on May 19. As for their wedding reception, the couple were thought to be keen on Frogmore House, which Meghan described as dreamy, for their wedding reception, but have now been gently vetoed by royal aides. They have instead been offered St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle, which is thought to be more suitable for the size of the wedding party. While this news is nice and joyful the drama surrounding her family is something that won't go away in the headlines either. Thomas Markle, 73, gave his royal future son-in-law a ringing endorsement and insisted he and Meghan are a very good match. The retired Hollywood lighting director broke his silence to reveal his affection for Prince Harry in a video obtained exclusively by The Sun. And the film proves he is determined to be there for his daughter as she weds her former army officer at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, on May 19. Thomas spoke out after a passerby asked for his thoughts on the wedding when he visited a convenience store in his hometown of Rosario, Mexico. He said, I think it's wonderful, I'm very delighted. I think they're, a, very good match, I'm very happy for them, Meghan and Harry. I love my daughter very much, Harry's a gentleman. Thomas previously said he'd love to walk Meghan down the aisle, but had never before spoken about Harry. His comments on actress Meghan, 36, are all the more poignant as she told a pal as a teenager that the pair were not on the best of terms. Thomas, divorced from Meghan's mom when the suit star was six, had kept a low profile since his daughter's engagement was announced. But he spoke to a woman visiting Rosarito before pulling out a camera flash and telling a crowd of onlookers, Now leave me alone please. Don't bother me anymore. No more flashing cameras in my eyes or I'll flash back. He then drove off. The woman said, I've seen him several times while visiting friends and family.
He's stopped his car while driving past my daughter and I to say how cute he thought she was. I didn't know who he was when he first stopped to talk, he just seemed to be a friendly neighbor. I have since learned who he is because he became the latest gossip in the area. He's always very friendly. When he pulled up at the store he seemed a bit irritated by the attention. But I think he recognized my daughter and I and gave us a little smile as he answered my question. Seems as though her new family will provide a little less drama than the one she has now. Has now.